All right, I think we are working. Hello, everybody, uh, and welcome to Common Sense and Sensibility, a Regency Era Lady TTRPG uh, that we are streaming today in honor of Rawcat Reads' one year anniversary. Hooray! Yay! Um, and also, it's uh, what was it, National GM's Day today? I found that article in Sensibility. Yeah, that's a real thing? Yes. Yeah. I saw that today. Okay. I don't know how long it's been a real thing, but it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, excellent. Um, so yeah, today we're going to be uh, Regency Era Ladies. We're going to be playing in the year 1802. Um, and these uh, lovely four players here are going to be taking on the roles of uh, Serafina Winchester, Clementine Ball, Kitty Sparrow, and rather Rebecca Featherstone. Oh my goodness, that's a mouthful. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're all going to be trying to survive uh, in the Regency area as I and uh, this list of uh, fates uh, try to uh, try to kill them uh, in hopefully uh, humorous ways. Uh, excellent. So each lady starts off with four six-sided dice. These are her constitution dice. And every test that I ask you to roll, you're going to be rolling all of those uh, constitution dice. Uh, a five or a six is considered a success. If you fail, if you don't roll any successes, uh, you lose one of those dice. And if you run out of dice, you die. Uh, on the other hand, if you roll all successes with however many dice it is you're rolling, you gain a skill. You get to add either a dice in Fortitude, Grace, Institutional, Charm. Uh, and for subsequent rolls, you can uh, describe how you go about doing that test with one of those four skills. And you can roll that extra dice uh, to try and make it a bit more likely that you succeed. Um, and there is an option to regain constitution dice if you are running a little bit low, uh, but we'll pick up that rule if and when we need it. It's probably fine. Oh, it's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Excellent. So how are you guys all feeling about uh, about this? Excited and terrified. Let's yeah, I'm excited. so excited. <laughs> I just hope my death is memorable. Yeah. Mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I hope so too. I want a good death. <laughs> I'm sure I'm whatever die of fate, a beautiful face. Yeah. I'm sure like, whatever I, that's on the list, and that still baffles me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll try and work it in there for sure. Okay, so for a little bit of uh, historical background, like I said, we're going to be playing in the summer of uh, 1802. Uh, in the last 50 years, the population of the United Kingdom has risen by about 50 percent, and there is an expanding middle class, which uh, our ladies are are drawn from. Uh, Class system generally at this point, it's like it's weirdly complex, but it can be broken down into uh, you have your landowners at the top, you have people who uh, own businesses as the the middle class, and then your wage workers as the uh, as the lower class. Uh, the industrial revolution is well underway, uh, and this lower class of workers is very dissatisfied, and this is uh, quite uh, vexing for the government, uh, and with good reason. Uh, only 25 years ago, there was the uh, American War of Independence, followed fairly shortly by the French Revolution and the Reign of Terror uh, that saw the French people sort of revolt against uh, the ruling classes. Uh, so the government is pretty terrified that the same thing could happen here. Uh, <laughs> these aren't concerns for ladies. Why am I telling you about this? I don't think I could handle it. No, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely not. Um, no, the concerns that... Uh, that are in front of our ladies are uh, the uh, weekend retreat they've been invited to uh, by Lady Marjorie Priest of Havisham Hall, of Havisham House, uh, at, at an event to benefit the uh, Society of Charitable Ladies. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a very grand estate, and you are on your way there now in your carriage, uh, going along the quite bumpy, bumpy road to, to Havisham House. So at this point, let's introduce our characters. Uh, Rebecca Featherstone, would you like to uh, to roll up your roll up your char first character? Uh, yes. So um, I haven't created. I, I have no idea who Rebecca is. We'll find out together. Mm -hmm. um, I'll start with my age and marital status. Okay, so you're rolling two d fours for this. Okay. Oh, I got a one and a one. Okay, so you are. I'm pulling young and shot. available. <laughs> oh, <Hey>. my. <laughs> oh, it sounds like you're a little too young. Mm -hmm. 
Wasn't there a, a character in Pride and Prejudice that was the same way, very eager Pretty. to, to get? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but also their their younger sister Lydia too. Oh yes. Mm. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was picturing. Lydia with the name Kitty, you're fine. <laughs> no, it's Kitty was the other young sister who was also yeah. pretty annoying. So okay, well, it turns out in this one, I am. I am eager to get married. Excellent. Okay. Uh, next, we decide your sibling order. So you're going to roll two d six. The larger number is going to be the number of siblings that you have, and then the other number is going to be your order. Uh, so what did okay. you what did you get? Uh, it kind of makes sense. Uh, there are three siblings and I'm the oldest. Okay. So I am eager to get married, perhaps also for the family. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, you can choose two of the interests from the, uh, from the, the list of interests in the, in the rule book. Um, uh, and then, mm-hmm. oh, tell uh, us. I, I, yeah, I think <laughs> I'm going to do singing. Singing. Okay. And letter writing. Mm. Excellent. Okay. So Mm well-rounded. Some pen pals. Yes. Uh, And then if you can roll 2d4 to work out uh, where exactly in the middle class you you rank. A four and a two. Okay, so four is is, uh, the, the, you're on the lower rungs uh, to your your father as an innkeeper. Uh, Probably quite well to, well to do. I hope so. Still, it's a good in. How am I going to marry well? <laughs> yeah, the pressure is on. You've got yeah. you to rise above your... Uh... I'm going to sing so good. <laughs> I love it. Okay. As um, long as you believe. <laughs> excellent. So you are in the carriage with the uh, rolling English countryside uh, going by. What are the, the thoughts in your, your head as you're heading towards Habersham House? Uh, I think I feel very aware of being young and wanting to appear mature. Um, so I'm I'm scoping out the women around me and trying to like oh I should sit with my hands like this uh and trying to follow their conversation excellent okay uh who in particular is it that catches catches your eye that you most want to emulate choose one of your gonna roll d6 uh Alante Serafina uh, with a name like that you know can't can't take my eyes away Okay, Serafina Winchester, uh, have you rolled your character already or are we doing that? I have not. We're doing that. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so two D4s first, please. Okay. All right, that is a two and a three. Okay, so two uh, ooh, Two is uh, you are approaching marriageable age. Uh, you're between 18 and 21. And three is you have been widowed already. <gasps> <laughs> okay. Um, no you wonder can... I want to be like you. <laughs> it's just a lot of looking out of windows for Serafina. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this can either be literal <laughs> or metaphorical. Maybe you uh, you feel a, a deep sense of loss, uh, or you could literally have been married. Uh, the age of consent in the UK at this, or at this time is 21, but you can elope to Scotland and get married at the age of 14. So uh, that Ooh. could be... <laughs> I like that. This like whole forbidden lover thing. I love it. Let's do that. Excellent. Oh. Okay. okay. Uh, next, we have to uh, decide your sibling order. So if you roll 2d6. And uh, I rolled a one and a four. Okay. So you have four siblings and you are also the, the first. The first. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. I, I imagine that there's two middle twins for some reason. Ooh. Oh. I like it. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, I could choose two interests from the list if you have it there. Um, let's do drawing an instrument. Excellent. And uh, what are your thoughts as you're heading towards this uh, charity retreat? Oh, why is this road so bumpy? <laughs> oh, funny you should mention that. I'm sure that will come up again. <laughs> Uh, as you are jostled, uh, you bump into oh. the person next to you. Who is? Who is uh, James's character? What is your character? So I'm playing Clementine Ball. Uh, I, I pre-rolled this character, so I've got the uh, the stats already kind of uh, assembled. But she is 21 years old and married. 
Uh, she's the second daughter of six siblings. Uh, she likes reading and conversation. And she is the daughter of an innkeeper as well. Oh. oh. Ooh, do our fathers compete or are we from separate separate places, separate cities? Um Ooh, I I think ooh. our our fathers compete. I think that'll be a little bit more fun. Okay. Um, I like it. It's fantastic. Oh, uh, Serafina, I forgot we we did yes. forget to roll your social class. Two D fours, please. Uh, I uh, did that well. You're doing that, and I rolled a one and a three uh, in oh. that order. Ooh. Ooh. I'm second class, and uh, my father's occupation is a country gentleman. Oh my! <laughs> Excellent. Okay, uh, and across the carriage from you um, is our our last lady, Kitty Sparrow. Uh, oh, how are we? Uh, how are we creating your character? We are rolling. Excellent. Do it. Do it. I am an old maid. Oh, we needed a grandpa. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Excellent. Uh, And your marital status? Oh, I am married. Oh, nice. Sarah was not my maiden name. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Um, Go with sibling order, two D6s. Oh, I'm the eldest of six. A lot of eldest. Wow. Here. And we're all eldest right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, excellent. Uh, and two interests for you? I enjoy reading uh, and brisk walks. Oh. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Oh, you're one of those sporty ladies. <laughs> yes. <I'm, I'm, laughs> I relate a lot to this person I heard of named Elizabeth Bennett. Um <laughs> Let's figure out my class. Okay, two D4s. What'd okay. you get? Hey, ah. I'm three and three, so I'm gonna go ship owner. Excellent. My dad is a ship owner. Oh, that's that's, re- that's respectable. Uh, shipping at this time is uh, is very big. I mean, it's the only way to get around, really, if you're going long distances. It clearly got me a dowry. <laughs> and maybe a husband. Mm. Yeah, a living, a living husband. husband. Yeah, yeah, mine's alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> just rub it in. Why don't you please? <laughs> uh, excellent. Uh, how is the conversation in the uh, in the carriage? And how do you all know each other? You're sharing a carriage to this event. How do you uh, how do you all know each other? We have rival innkeepers, innkeepers' daughters, of course rival innkeepers daughters but maybe uh part of the same book club i don't know uh could sure. be could be a kind of uh, a little circle of of people who like to mm-hmm. talk about the the books that they read we just yeah. read udolfo I feel, oh i feel my. like seraphina <laughs> doesn't read but throws the the soiree in which you all attend at, at, the, at the house yeah uh, uh, so it's a lot You're of much her too just high like, a class to read yourself. Well, I do what I must. <laughs> I like hearing about you. You all talk about it. It's so cute with your words and. Mm, mm. Well, we uh, know that it's because you're lonely, dear. But I mean, <gasps> Kitty is very... just not even. She's just reading. What are you reading? Uh, uh, what what kind reading. of book is it? Uh, I'm reading a book of poetry. But isn't poetry just uh, kind of like very short novels? In fact, it might even be a novel too far. I'm going to have you roll your constitution to see if this is the book too far. <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> oh no, Lord oh. Byron's going to kill you. Oh, wow. <laughs> no. Oh my god, okay. Okay, so four, one... Six, three, five. Oh, you should just have four constitution dice, but you did get a six in there, so uh, you are you are safe. Okay, you are okay. You are it was not the novel one. too far. <laughs> not this time. Oh gosh, we're a book club, and books kill us. <laughs> we like to live. I like reading. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is like the extreme sports. 
group. <laughs> <laughs> how, how would extreme reading even look? I, oh, yeah. I'm like this. Sure. You're, you're in a carriage. Like this. <laughs> a, have you ever tried to read in the car and not? oh my gosh i'm just picturing like Uh, someone like comically like waving around like a wacky wavy and inflate inflatable two person while trying to read a book in a (laughs) care yeah yeah i think i think for me it's more the emotions that rise up and i just can't contain them and then you know sometimes they just explode and sometimes literally oh yes a heart attack yeah very dangerous it's my greatest fear book death book death (laughs) Yeah, you've read about so many of them, probably. Uh, it is yeah. funny that you mentioned that the, the cart is kind of, or the, the carriage is uh, very jostly, because uh, it does take a toll on a lady's constitution, uh, traveling so far. So I'm going to ask you all to roll for how well you have traveled uh, as you are nearing uh, nearing Havisham House. Just four. And it's a five or six is a success? Five or six is a success, yeah. Oh, you. Okay. I have one success. Okay, Bye. you're safe. I have <gasps> failed. <gasps> oh no. Okay. I have failed. <laughs> that was very well timed, by the way. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, you've you failed. Uh, so you will lose one of your dice. You'll only be rolling three in future, and you are one step closer to death. This journey has taken a toll on you, uh, Clementine. Oh, it's just sorry. withering. That's why I'm so snappy. I'm usually not like this. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> You're just hungry, dear. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, um, M- Mrs. Winchester. I just... This ride has been a trial, I, I have to say, and I mm-hmm. just... Um, I feel faint. Oh, I'm so... Uh, are we... Driver, are we there yet? Uh, the driver calls down. Oh, yes, mom, we're just pulling into the driveway now. And you feel actually the, the road eases out a little bit. That it's, uh, oh. uh, it's a little bit um, smoother here. And as you look out of the windows, the rolling countryside has been replaced with uh, uh, expansive, extravagant gardens. Uh, and you see the house off in the distance, and it's uh, drawing ever closer. Oh, oh my. That's well, that's beautiful. lovely. It's beautiful. Isn't that it? we're almost done with this ride. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I guess Kitty will put down her very risky book and look out the window. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you see the... the uh, the ground sort of rolling by this lovely water feature uh, and manicured uh, manicured bushes, and you actually see the house as you the uh, carriage turns, uh, and this lovely sort of two story, very grand uh, grand estate. Um, and there's uh, the servants, the butler is, is there with the maids on one side and the footman on the other, uh, waiting to to greet you. And as the carriage rolls to a stop, the door is opened, and you are welcomed to Havisham House by the. Uh, by the staff. Uh, the butler, Jenkins, uh, says, uh, good day, good day, ladies. Uh, uh, Lady Marjorie is uh, unable to, to greet you herself. She's very uh, uh, sorry about, about that, but uh, she's getting ready for dinner. It is uh, four o'clock and dinner will be served at six. I know this puts you all in a terrible rush. It's, uh, two hours is probably not enough time for you to look your best, but... Uh, uh, yeah, the the staff here will escort you to your rooms and uh, assist you in any way any way possible. Could you please get Lady Clementina a big glass of water, please? It's, uh, it was so harrowing getting here. Oh uh, yes, of of course. Uh, we'll have it brought up to your rooms as well with some uh, restorative teas. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so just much for your kindness. Such a peach, Mrs. <laughs> Winchester. I I greatly appreciate you looking out for me. It reminds me that um, uh, recently I read that so many people are into bird watching nowadays. Um, and I was wondering, uh, while we're here waiting for this refreshments, uh, what, what are y'all's opinions on, on bird watching? I, I f- it just feels so frivolous. I do love a, watching a good hummingbird. That, uh... You've seen some of my sketches in in the art room. It is. I mean, your depictions of the hummingbird are quite lovely. I'm just not sure if I would sit and watch one long enough to draw something that well. Hmm. Be interesting to to read a book 
and then try to match what you're reading to what you're you're seeing. If you get to sit down and in a ladylike manner. Of course, of course. Mm. Maybe I'll give it a try. You should. They have the most beautiful songs. Oh, that they do. That they mm. do. No, in no, fact, no, 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 try. <laughs> <laughs> and I just start singing. <laughs> oh. Kitty is just like. <laughs> I'm eager for uh, affirmation. <laughs> that's lovely, dear. That's oh. that's lovely. Oh, mm. should I oh, save oh, that oh. for later? Just yes. like oh. a bird. Yeah. So when I see Lady Marjorie Priest, I should sing to her. Maybe we can uh, arrange uh, like a, a little piano uh, forte uh, sing along later. Yes. We'll we'll, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll yeah. think about that after dinner. Yes, okay. I believe timing is important. At least that's what I've read. Oh yes, how could I have forgotten that? That's like music 101. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, at the right time. Thank you for letting me practice. Um, oh yes, your um, your voice was lovely. I'm sure that a- any man would be happy to to spend time with it around him. That's yep. the dream. Yes. I'll find a man who will sing with me maybe in a duet. My experience Men who can sing are few and far between. How much experience do you have, men? <gasps> I'm, I'm happily married now, but I would say that uh, being mm. the daughter of an innkeeper, as you know, <clears throat> when you have a well-traveled inn, you see many a men, and you would find that you know uh, part of the trade is courting their interests. Oh, so I'm sure that. Once you grow up a little bit and get a little bit more experienced, um, if not at your father's inn, there will be plenty of places for you to um, court many a men. Oh, well, I, I think this talk of courting is far too. Whew. So I would like to go upstairs and get ready, ladies. Okay. I will pull up my fan and agree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, shade is not on this list. <laughs> I think we should add it. <laughs> yes, my constitution. Oh. Uh, yes, uh, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Uh, Rebecca Featherstone, oh. roll for shade. <laughs> <laughs> I think oomph. I think Fail. oomph is a. Uh... <laughs> yeah, uh, that was just a low blow, and I can't even stand it. <laughs> Did you fail? Oh no, did you I move? did fail, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm killing her. Oh. <laughs> Literally, yes. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, so uh, Kitty uh, has uh, retired to her rooms, as it seems. So has Rebecca after that scathing uh, cl- uh, comment from Clementine. My goodness. Uh, as you are all retiring to your rooms, how are you preparing for dinner? I'm going to powder my nose. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Yeah. It's probably uh, been a little worse for wear on the journey. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm probably, it's the summer you said. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I am sweating in an unseemly <gasps> manner. Oh. Clementine <gasps> always has struggled with, with perspiration. Um, <gasps> those hot in nights, just brutal brutal experiences for your skin excellent how about Serafina what are you doing to get ready um I feel like Serafina brought a lot of clothes so it's 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 uh another harrowing experience getting in this uh epic dress Mm. Mm. excellent okay getting epically dressed uh Rebecca how are you how are you doing how are you getting ready uh I think I'm focusing on the hair uh, trying to make sure all of the ringlets are in place. Excellent. Okay. Locked and loaded. Uh, and Kitty, where are your attentions? Um, I want to make sure that I am neatly, properly dressed, but not nothing too extravagant. That's not what I do. So I'm, I change my dress into something respectable, make sure my hair is up respectable, and I will grab a light shawl. Oh, mm. that's very prepared of you. Thank you. <laughs> Somebody's been reading the list. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> uh, 
Um, excellent. Okay, uh, you were all called down to dinner, um, uh, down to the uh, to the dining hall. It's been laid out, and there are plenty of other ladies there too. Uh, if you would like to meet any of them, you can name them because uh, they might become your future selves. <laughs> 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 oh, Angelique! Oh, you're here! Oh, it's so good to see you! Oh, how's it been? How's oh, it's just wonderful. I, the journey was ever so harrowing. I, oh. I, I almost withered away. Oh, no. Mm. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Yes, and you too, darling. Oh. Mm. Yes. Um, uh, a bell will, will sound and uh, Lady Marjorie. Uh, will enter and ask you all to be seated. She's very grand. Uh, she's an older lady, um, uh, famously widowed. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, famously widowed. Uh, she did not kill her husband. Her husband died <laughs> uh, uh, while she was still very young. Uh, you have something in common, I believe. Um, and uh, the for- the fortune of her husband. Uh, her husband's fortune passed on to her, which is very unusual uh, this time. Usually it goes to another male heir, uh, and there is uh, an absentee uh, overseas that nobody's ever met, but uh, it's all very, uh, very proper. Uh, Lady Marjorie has been able to stay in the house and uh, seems to be doing quite quite well for herself. Uh, she asks you all to uh, to be seated and says, "It's a uh, it's lovely to see you all looking so reasonably well." Um, and she uh, she calls over for Jenkins. Uh, Jen- Jenkins uh, is dinner ready? And he says, uh, "Regrettably, no, ma'am." Uh, at which Lady Marjorie clutches her pearls. Uh, somebody has said no in the presence of ladies. I'm going to need you all to roll uh, to find out if it was too loud for you. Oh. All right. With my three die here. Oh, oh! I failed. That was too far too. too much. No. <laughs> oh, I had I really? had two two successes. Yes. Oh. I also had two successes. Okay. Did anybody get all successes? Okay, we haven't reached that point yet because remember, you get a skill when you roll all successes. Few dice you have, the more likely it is to happen. However, uh, it sounds like we're whittling away. Uh, many of the ladies around the table clutch their pearls uh, at Jenkins's no, Mark. Uh, Lady Marjorie says, Jenkins, how could you? Uh, in the presence of ladies, it is absolutely forbidden to say that word. Uh, we should all remember that in the stream. If you hear any of the players utter that word in future, uh, please call it to my attention because they will all have to roll to see if it was too loud. Uh, oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> So, oh dear. Uh, so maybe oh dear. Like instead we can say things like I do not think so yeah. <laughs> yeah. that might not be appropriate <laughs> I believe it's forbidden yeah. mm-hmm. uh, something of that nature yeah um, and while all of the, fl- the fluster is going on uh, dinner does actually become ready and is, uh, uh, the first course is brought out to you uh, Lady Marjorie allows the, the course to, to be consumed and then after, uh, between courses, uh, she says, oh yes, uh, let me uh, lay out a little bit about how this, uh, how this event is, uh, is organised. Um, in these troubling times, it is very important that we remember our charitable duties. Um, so tomorrow uh, we will have uh, breakfast at, at 10 o'clock, uh, followed by a lecture at around about midday. Uh, the subject will be Lord Nelson, who will be our very esteemed guest at the uh, dinner and the ball uh, tomorrow evening. Um, and uh, we are all very much looking forward to, to his, uh, his arrival. Um, in the afternoon, uh, we will be uh, strolling around the grounds, taking in the... Uh, the, the various aspects of Havisham House, perhaps with some history or some such. I'm not entirely sure. Um, uh, Admiral Nelson will be arriving uh, in the in the afternoon while we are preparing for, for dinner. And we've also invited uh, some of the officers from the local garrison to join us for the, for the dancing. So you shall all have partners to dance with. Uh, dinner will be served at six o'clock, uh, followed by the, the dancing, which we're all very excited about, aren't we? Oh, yes. I hope I live to see it. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Excellent. Um, So dinner continues. Uh, The next course is 
uh, is brought out. It's a very extravagant uh, fair. Three courses, in fact. Uh, Lady Marjorie has spared no expense for this uh, for this event for you. How are you all finding dinner? Restorative. Quite nice. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> I see you. Just what I needed after a long, long uh, trip in a carriage. Uh, it's probably nicer than what I'm used to, considering I'm the uh, the, the daughter of an innkeeper. So mm-hmm. um, I'm enjoying the flavors. It's really good uh, and very common to what I experienced at my father's inn. <laughs> Feels slightly underdone but Serafina is doing her best to um take it in stride mm-hmm. excellent uh was that Rebecca trying to throw some shade back at Clementine um a little bit <laughs> I don't think it was quite as cutting I'm not gonna let you know it's okay make her <laughs> run I'm not, I was not trying to kill her I was just trying to remind her <laughs> wait what if you kill her don't you get her dice <laughs> is that how that works <laughs> I didn't read it that. Should be. Be. It should be now. <laughs> That's a horrid rumor. It no, may or may no, not be true. I guess no. you'll have to put it. <laughs> oh, I can now see the oh. secret cult of the Regency era slaying women. Yeah. <laughs> For their constitution <laughs> dice. <laughs> Only That's through amazing. the feasting of other people's vitality <laughs> shall we reign supreme. Isn't that a thing in history? Or is that a rumor? What? It's, oh, it's, the the bathing queen. in young women's yeah. blood. Oh, the Hungarian. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That might have actually that might have happened, but it also equally might have been political. Propaganda. I believe it's. Contested. I can go on a rant later. <laughs> what a ghastly conversation over dinner! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Whatever have you been reading? Too many novels, I say. <laughs> <laughs> It's a Lady political Marjorie. non-fiction. <laughs> well, luckily dinner is over. My goodness, such talk that I did. Uh, ladies, please accompany me to the uh, to the drawing room where we might uh, we might take a nightcap. Uh, Lady Marjorie will lead you through to a very grand room that has uh, various couches and uh, armchairs dotted around. Uh, there's a piano over in the corner. And there's bookshelves that uh, cover one wall, uh, and uh, pictures on uh, on all of the others. Um, what about it in this room catches each of your attention? Let's start with Kitty. Oh, there's a lovely bookshelf. Oh, yes. So of course, I want to go look at all of the books. Oh, are you opening any of them? Um, I'm looking at the titles. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Oh, maybe thinking i might take one or two up to my room if i am allowed uh yeah i think it would be okay for you to to borrow um to borrow one or two of these books uh i'm sure that would that would be uh, quite all right nicely dodged <laughs> clementine <laughs> what is it that catches you <laughs> eye? Um, for Clementine, I think it's the the paintings. Something about them resonates with things that she's uh, read recently. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe some of the scenes kind of reflect some of the the stories that she's uh, read. Uh, yes, there definitely is uh, many paintings. Uh, one in particular catches your eye. It's um, it's a, a, an ocean, an ocean scene. A, a ship being tossed about in a, in a very uh, lively looking storm. As you look at it, it sort of captivates you and really draws you in and it really makes you miss the ocean ever so, the sea. It's been such a long time since you've seen the sea. This picture is just, it's not the same as seeing the sea. Could you please roll to see if it has been too long since you last saw the sea? Uh, is that well, you know, that my husband. We don't. Oh uh, we don't oh go out God. to the ocean nearly enough, and it <laughs> might kill me here. One success. One success. Oh, you're safe. Um, <laughs> you are safe. Uh, you behold this uh, wonderful picture. It does make you long for the ocean, but uh, not damagingly so. I really need to get Mister Ball to take me to the beach again. 
that louse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I heard the ocean has very uh, restorative, restorative thing. When it's not being uh, infested with Frenchmen, the the uh, <laughs> the threat of invasion is uh, is very real at the at this time uh, from the French. Um, Serafina, what catches your eye? I feel like there is a what Serafina thinks is a giant harp that is completely draped over in something. I would like to go oh, check to... it out if, yeah. if that's okay. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, you said it was it was covered? Yes, covered. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Uh, so as you pull the, um, the cover off, uh, the waving of the cloth uh, it has a, a sort of a familiar, a familiar smell to it. Uh, it reminds you of your uh, your Please. recent tragedy. You are suffering anguish in this drawing room. Please roll no. for drawing room anguish. No, no, not Scott Scotton. No, okay. drawing room <laughs> anguish. <laughs> Just success. <laughs> I shall not overcome you. Clutch. Shut off that heart. Stab it. Steady yourself. It's uh, glance out of the window and fortify your your strength. Uh, and that leaves uh, <laughs> Rebecca. Uh, what catches your eye in this room? Uh, well, I didn't notice probably Serafina. Well, I don't know what's under this um, cloth, so I'm going over to the pianoforte. Unfortunately, I am not uh, musically inclined in the instrument way, so I'll just kind of like run my fingers over it and make like eye contact with people in the room, um, seeing if any of the other ladies um, feel compelled to play. And I did notice that one of the, the deaths... Um, I've got my eye on, uh, so perhaps uh, with a bit of pride, I believe that I could make this party a little more exciting. Oof, is that a twinge in my lower back? I'm not sure. Um, but yes, that's what I'm doing. Excellent. You're pridefully sort of standing by the piano, hoping that somebody will um, will play it. Mm -hmm. Surely uh, they've heard of me. Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> Lady Marjorie catches on. She's pretty quick. Uh, and she beckons over, uh, Jennifer, Jennifer, uh, to go over and um, uh, play us something on the, the piano forte. Uh, and uh, an older, uh, an older uh, lady will, will come over and, uh, and sit down um, at the piano and look at you expectantly. Uh, uh, any, any requests? Uh, anything you would like to, to sing along to? Oh, yes. Um, Aria 30. 2B is my favorite. Oh, yes, of course. And uh, she begins to to play uh, on the on the piano. Um you would like to to sing along, I'm assuming. Yes, pride confidently. Pridefully and confidently. Yeah. Yes. Very this is my uh, moment. Upright. Yes. Uh let's let's roll for your um <laughs> <laughs> So Spinal got death by concert. <laughs> yeah, so we've got two dice. You got There's this. a good chance I can get a skill out of this. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna get a skill. You're gonna get a Fingers skill. crossed. Yeah. Uh, no, but I did get a success. Oh, Yay. <laughs> excellent! Uh, you uh, lift the spirits of the room. Everybody enjoys the uh, the accompaniment. You are actually quite a good singer. Uh, I knew you all were lying. <laughs> <laughs> Moder moderately good I mean uh, nobody else seems to be stepping up to um, uh, I'll do <laughs> <laughs> you'll do uh, excellent okay um, so you are all in the, the drawing room enjoying each other's company this beautiful singing um, a round of uh, sherry uh, is served for you um, Ooh. it's a it's a, it's a nightcap uh, Lady Marjorie uh, it takes a small glass uh, and it is offered round uh, to the rest of the ladies. Excellent. Okay. Uh, any lady who has taken a glass of sherry, as you go to sip it, uh, please roll to see if it is served too cold. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. It's right. It is perfect. Two I successes. Okay. Oh, the sherry is is perfect. Lady Marjorie doesn't mess around. She knows the temperature the sherry should be served at for for ladies, um, and uh, yeah, it's it's perfect. It's it's wonderful. Uh, Lovely. 
<laughs> the evening goes on, uh, and there is the opportunity for you to uh, chat with anybody else you would like in the room, or interact with some more of the the room's various aspects, should you wish. Lady Marjorie. Yes, dear. Could you tell us a bit more about our esteemed guest? Oh, the Lord Ad Lord Nelson. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, well, there is the the lecture tomorrow, um, but uh, yes, I, I'm sure it wouldn't wouldn't hurt. Uh, He's a very distinguished uh, naval naval captain, um, and ad admiral now, of course. Mustn't forget his proper rank. Uh, he uh, he fought very valiantly in the uh, the American War of Independence, uh, and also in the uh, the French Revolutionary Wars when it threatened to spill over into our country. And he's been doing his service to keep the French at bay. He is in charge of the Channel defences currently, although he is. Uh, he took some wounds and uh, is currently retiring uh, and uh, staying with his friends, the Hamiltons, uh, uh, oh. currently. Um, and they is are... his wife with them? Sorry, is his wife with them, taking care of him? Uh, Fanny? No, I don't. I don't believe so. I think she has stayed at their their home. She doesn't travel well. Oh. I mean, who does? <laughs> <laughs> quite, quite. I think uh, uh, Kitty will will take her glass of just fine sherry uh, and, and just kind of look out the window and kind of see what she can see of the grounds. Um, yeah, it's getting into the, the evening now. Uh, the sun's sort of starting to set. It's quite beautiful outside. Um, in the uh, the grounds, you can see there's a very well kept uh, garden immediately outside of the the window. It sort of rolls on a nice uh, big hedge, uh, sort of cuts off then from rolling landscape in the in the uh, in the far distance. Oh, kitty, kitty, dear love. Yes. Do you dear. see your favorite flower out there? Oh, um, let me see. Is there a pink rose out there? <laughs> Uh, you can look around and you can see, oh, yes, there's the rose garden over there. It's a little bit too far away to discern if uh, if something is, the, they are pink or not, but it certainly seems like there might be roses there. Oh, there's, there's some roses just up there. Oh. Should we sneak out and go see? Oh, yes, let's. So I can put on my shawl. <laughs> Um, excellent. Okay, yeah, you guys can uh, can make your your way outside, Lady Marjorie. As soon as you go, oh yes, yeah, so quite good for an evening stroll. But don't be too late, ladies. The nights do get awfully chilly. Miss Featherstone. <laughs> yes. You did a fantastic job. Thank you. I appreciate that. I was afraid you weren't going to get an, uh, an accompanist. I mean, the, it, there was a brief moment where it was all up in the air, and I <laughs> thought you were going to suffer a, a humiliating set of circumstances. But, <laughs> my dear, you absolutely pulled through in a spectacular way. And mm -hmm. I have to say, your singing was just so lovely. Oh, that was wonderful. The fates were very I... kind to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're too kind, my dear. Um, Thank you. In fact, you know, I, I is this is how you speak to your guests at your father's inn. How did you get married? I oh, well, quite yeah. easily. I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't keep them off me. Really, I was so. Oh, I did hear about that. <laughs> Full men all over. Yeah. Yes, they, they, you they, really shouldn't talk about that here. I mean, <laughs> as someone who's wed, I can tell you that a little bit of impropriety helps grease the wheels, so to speak. Um, oh, I don't, I, I, I don't think so. Uh, even you know marriage, when you're older. <laughs> I've been told that even in marriage, one must be proper at all times. In fact, oh. I, I, I hope that you are not being improper unless you are trying to have children i've got some books for you my dear that will are you trying to scandalize the youth <laughs> open your eyes to what 
well, let's just say that there are ways that the world has, has always been. And the things that I'm talking about right now uh, just speak to a, a more... A baser woman, yes, that's true. A more primal truth. Oh my god. Okay, this is this so is, fan- <laughs> this this is, is fantastic. The best thing I've ever heard. I'm gonna have you both roll for shade. Let's see who wins <laughs> this battle. <laughs> you look like you're about to cry a little bit. Maybe. Oh, I had one success. Oh. oh, I have none. I didn't make it. Yes! You won this one. You're a baser <laughs> woman. <laughs> I mean, truly, I, I was. Oh. My constitution was not oh. made for my heart. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> well, that was fantastic. Let's retire to the garden, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a lovely, oh. balmy English evening outside. Oh. Uh, I see the kitty is is wearing a shawl. It's actually it's really nice. You may not even need that that shawl. It's probably fine. And you're wandering out uh, into the uh, into the gardens. You find the rose garden. Oh, it's quite it's quite lovely. Um, and you see another another garden, just a little bit further on, through a, a beautiful archway. Could be a well, I do yeah. love a brisk walk. Oh, shall we away? We shall. So I link mm-hmm. arms with my friend. <laughs> Uh, excellent. And you stroll uh, forward through this archway and find yourself in the most beautiful garden. Uh, it's an Italian garden. In fact, it also most feels like you have gone outside at night in Italy. Please roll constitution. <laughs> no! <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's right there on the list. <laughs> oh, oh, three no! successes! <gasps> oh, no. I get a skill. I get a skill. Uh, Yeah. Oh, it's our first skill. What would you like your uh, skill to be in? Uh, Let me bring up the the list of options, unless you have it there. Oh, I have it. I have it here. Oh, great. So, fortitude, grace, intuition, or charm and wit. Um, I'll go with fortitude. I'm walking, and that's how I got it. So that seems appropriate excellent okay Ooh, so if you can describe your for, uh, future actions with fortitude um you can add that dice to any future rolls um excellent uh seraphina on the other hand this garden has just taken its toll on you <laughs> you didn't bring a shawl back. no hmm. something something about a the the vaguely Italian air. It's just no, no. Mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Is that Such... where you honeymooned? <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Just blissfully looks out at the entrance of the garden. Just, oh. <laughs> I will. I will hustle my my friend back inside. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Of course, dear. Wear my shawl. Oh, oh, you you are such a sweetheart, Kitty. <laughs> Excellent. You guys head back inside uh, to the rest where there is a, an audible silence. Uh, Clementine is sort of clutching at her chest and uh, uh, Rebecca looks very fired up. You feel that you might have missed out on some sort of exchange, but nobody will speak of it now. Um, and uh, Lady Marjorie says, well, I think that's quite enough. Uh, let's all the way to uh, to get our rest. We have a long day tomorrow. Um, uh, I'll have the uh, the staff show you to your to back to your rooms. Uh, you can be escorted uh, back to your your uh, different rooms. Um, and let me know what you are doing to prepare yourself. What is your end of day routine? Mm. Well, as a, a very practical uh, woman, I know my beauty is my hair, so I will brush it with 100 strokes. <laughs> That's wonderful. Excellent. <laughs> uh, how about Clementine? Clementine's working to remove all of the antiperspirant like makeup and stuff like that that she's just caked onto her body to ensure that her... Uh, unseemly perspiring is kept under control uh it's uh no a sacrifice of love truly 
Uh, Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Serafina, how about you? I feel like Serafina is going to make a <laughs> the equivalent of a body pillow uh, oh. of her divorced <laughs> husband so that she can lay beside him. Uh, excellent. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and Rebecca, how about you? Um, I will be pacing back and forth trying to remember uh, all of the things that Lady Marjorie Priest said, uh, desperate to uh, impress her tomorrow and earn her favor. Excellent. Okay. Um, uh, as you will lay, lay down to sleep after preparing for bed, uh, everybody except Serafina, uh, you need to roll for if you have the appropriate number of pillows. Uh, Serafina, you arrange the pillows very purposefully, so I feel like you know exactly how many pillows there are. Oh, I thought you'd be like, you, you put your pillows in the shape of a man, so you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh dear. that's so messed up. Oh, I, no. I do not have the right number. Oh, it's oh, a oh wait. No, I I with vibrancy and vitality fluff up my pillows so I have another dice. <laughs> yes. Yes. Save it. Save it. Oh, success. I got one success. Okay, you're good. Zero. How many yeah. are we down to for, for Rebecca? One. One. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Rough. Rebecca may not make it through the night. Oh, you Child. might actually. So this what's, is... gonna... what's gonna happen in the middle of the night? Oh, nothing. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You will drift off into a, a peaceful sleep. It's very peaceful. Kind of peaceful. Not peaceful actually. There's a sort of weird clanking sound, like a metallic y grinding of gears or something. It's quite horrific. It's uh it's it's very horrific. You all jerk awake uh hearing this this noise uh searching around in the dark. You uh, it's coming from outside. It's coming from somewhere in the, the gardens. It seems to be getting louder. Uh what are you all doing? Well I go out to the garden. You go out I'm, to, Okay. I'm going to sneak and find Clementine. Yes, yes. Uh, I will jerk awake and then become very dizzy and lay back down. <laughs> okay, excellent. Uh, Clementine, I think uh, somebody has come to seek you out. Yes, so uh, Clementine uh, opens her door um, and she's like, Mrs. Winchester? Yes? Is that not you? What? Why is this? <laughs> Why is the noise? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I was going to go talk to the butler and see if he knew what was going on. Uh, I oh. thought at first it was the boiler, but it's outside. And that's oh. usually not where boilers are. Hmm. Okay. Should we go get Rebecca and Kitty first? I do feel so uncomfortable here in the dark. Mm. Well, I mean, is do should we wake them up? I was already up. I it seemed like Rebecca was struggling uh, today. I don't. I. I would hope that she gets her, her rest. What happened between you two? Oh, I mean, it was... it was. I don't think it bears mention, but, it, you know, Rebecca's a young lass, and she's... Yes, all the more reason to look out for her. Let's go get her. I'm trying to look out for her. I think she might need to sleep a little more. She seemed... Miss Winchester, mm. let's go get her. We'll, we'll go get her and Kitty, and okay. we'll see what they think. I, how about we do this? I will get Rebecca, you get Kitty, and we'll meet right back here in your room. Sounds good. Okay, okay the time it's taken for this conversation to happen, the clanking noise has desisted. Uh, Kitty, you had sprung out of it, it sounded like, and headed... Uh, straight out to the garden. Yes. Uh, yeah. As you um, uh, you make your way uh, 
down to the ground and throw open the, the doors, you see uh, a weird sort of jerking shape. It's maybe about 50 feet tall, and it seems to have a weird glint of metal uh, on its very humanoid kind of body. It's got these weird clanking arms and gears, and it sort of turns to you uh, with these big bright eyes uh, and then clanks away into the uh, around the side of the house. Oh, like any good lady, I think I faint. <laughs> so, uh, you will wake uh, slightly with the the staff having gathered around you and uh, set you back on one of the uh, one of the couches in the in the drawing room. Um, yeah, I guess we better have you roll for for, for constitution for shock. Uh, night brain, I believe, is probably the one. Night brain. <laughs> night brain. <laughs> what a great name for a status. Oh, it's like no. night brain. Okay. You've been, you've been afflicted with night brain. <laughs> well, I always have exuberance for life. So even if I'm not feeling well, I decide I'm going to feel better. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Sounds like what Mrs. Kitty would do. I have two successes. Or, two. Oh, my. You pull right through. No night brain for you. <laughs> what a stout old lady. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. oh, now I'm only 29. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're almost dead. <laughs> of average. Uh, excellent. Uh, so Clementine, uh, Clementine and Serafina had said that you were going to go and find the butler. And you do find the butler in the drawing room with a fainted, uh, a fainted kitty who has just jerked awake, full of vitality, fortitude. <laughs> Yes. Oh, Mrs. Sparrow. What? Yes. Are Are you okay? It seems like you fainted. Well, I went to the garden to see what that clanging sound was, and oh, it's just so terrible. I can't even discuss it. I mean, you're far braver than I to go out to the sound. I thought to get the butler and have him do it. No one should leave this property. It was terrifying. Everyone should definitely stay in the house. So you found what made the sound? Yes. What is it? Too ghastly to speak of. (gasps) But you must. So it's an unmentionable thing in the garden. A tall, tall creature with eyes like headlights. Or like Are there... headlights don't exist. Like what street lights. <laughs> Are there... Street lamps. <laughs> like oil street lamps. Are there bears out here? Uh, she well, like turns to the staff. With metal. <laughs> I mean, maybe it was catching the light and you were kind of frightened by its form. I I don't think bears are that tall. How tall was it? 15 feet at least. Oh my. A 15 foot tall metal monster in in the garden? Uh, The butler will interject at this point. Say, Oh, it was probably Habersham. Uh, Lady Marjorie's mech. A what? Uh, what? The, the 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 mechanical uh, mechanical beast uh, that Lady Marjorie keeps. Uh, of course, sorry. Uh, the the aristocratic classes do tend to uh, keep uh, uh, big mechanical uh, monsters that are um, usually uh, piloted by the female members of the, the house. Um, it is a safety precaution. The uh, not really quite sure where they came from, but. Uh, uh, the aristocratic uh, uh, households uh, all keep a mech upon the grounds for the safety of their families. Kitty is just fanning herself in shock. Do they just move around by themselves? You said that when the the lady pilots it. Oh, yes. Usually the, the daughters of the household will uh, take uh, a part in um, in piloting the mech. Uh, lady Marjorie, having no daughters, uh, did adopt a, a whole herd of orphans that uh, that go about piloting the mech for her. 
So there was some, there was an a orphan herd? out there tonight. <laughs> a herd of orphans? Yeah, she's very charitable. <laughs> also, did you just make a mini fan like in the last like five minutes? <laughs> <laughs> Like a truly this paper from my notebook. Oh, I, I thought you had it already. <laughs> That's brilliant. I was oh. like, "Wow, Brianna's oh. over here with the props." Oh my right? goodness! I wish oh. I was that. I, I felt prepared, like coming in with my stuff already. Right? And you're like waving around a fan, and I was like, "I have been bested mm-hmm. yet again." <laughs> I was older and wiser. Life. Yeah, true. I mean, truly, I've I've got to roll my constitution die. (laughs) Uh, Would you like to? Uh, Sorry, stop you. You How many do I personally get? Um, (laughs) Also, am I going to die? Because if so, I'd like to refrain. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, I think we're okay. Um, uh, Jenkins, the the butler, will uh, say, I'm so terribly sorry that uh, that, uh, Havisham disturbed your sleep. I shall have a word with the orphans. They do know not to have it out so late at night, but uh, with the threat of the French, they do. They're very uh, observant. Of, uh, you know, of keeping everybody safe, but it does seem like maybe they were up to a little bit of mischief this evening, so, uh, okay, so I apologize. It was some orphans then that were out there with the mech, as you called it. it yes, Lady Havisham's orphans and the mech, yes. Or La- Lady Marjorie's, <laughs> Lady Marjorie's uh, uh, orphans and mech, yes. So they more than one of them pilots the mech? Oh yes, there's one for the arm and the other arm and the legs and the body and the, the torso and the weapons. So you put like the weapons? Oh. Yes, however else would uh. one defend oneself from a Frenchman? One must be armed. Well that makes sense. I'm just trying to think of so there are five orphans in the body of this thing. Yes, yes. And they were Plenty running time. around in the the my dear, I think we know far too much as it is. This is too much for our weak women brains. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm having such a hard time grasping what I'm hearing. I just, it's. You have a lot oh. of technical questions, Lady Clement. I don't say very inquisitive of you, rather presumptuous, one might even say. You're right. Yes. You're we absolutely go up correct. Back to our, our I sh- rooms. Yes. Uh, he will he will usher you usher you back to bed uh, and that was fantastic I'm not going to have you roll for having your sleep interrupted uh, you're all good <laughs> 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 the rest of the night passes uneventfully uh, until breakfast the next day you, uh, you wake and uh, how are you preparing for, for breakfast how rest- rested are you feeling probably not all that well rested clementine probably was like it just thought of like it's 15 foot tall there are five orphans i'm just how small are these children how what what is that you know it's just uh, so much so much thought into uh into this it it reminds her of maybe something she might have read at some point so she's got a a bit of a fixation it, it seems kind of exciting and uh, very different from the the life of an innkeeper some kind of woman in a mechanized uh fighting suit yeah that's excellent um how about seraphina how are you preparing for the day um doing full course makeup <laughs> just, just to the nines yes Excellent. Okay, building a good base for this evening to do just yes. a few touch-ups in the in the mm-hmm. afternoon. Yeah. Um, how about uh, Kitty? How are you doing? No. Um, as a married woman, I'm used to taking a tray in the morning so for my breakfast in bed. So I reluctantly dress so I can join everyone else for breakfast. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Um, and uh, Rebecca, how was how was the evening for you? Well, I, I am well rested, but I, I woke up with a sore throat and I'm just not quite feeling feeling very well. I probably don't look too put together. Oh, no. Uh, actually, Rebecca, as you uh, you wake up, 
I need to start to go about your morning routine. You notice that your slippers are missing. Uh, missing slippers is on the list. Cold. Yes, uh, and your constitution will be damaged. Let's see if you can find those slippers. Please roll your one oh remaining my constitution dice. Oh, Trisha. <laughs> I search under the bed. I search through my luggage. I search in the closet. And uh, it's just its getting so tiring. I just If I could just find my slippers, I crawl <laughs> along the floor. And then fall down. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. She didn't even get to convalesce. <laughs> Oh my god! Um, oh that's my god. that's fantastic. Um, <laughs> yeah, whichever staff, yeah, whichever staff member it was that unpacked your luggage for you, uh, either hid or stole your slippers. Murderer! And caused your death. Yeah. Oh wow! Um, fantastic. So, um, I assume they had a weird foot thing going on there. I don't. <laughs> Face people everywhere. <laughs> <sighs> Excellent. Um. Okay, uh, so let's let's roll you up a new lady. Who who are you gonna be this time? Uh, I'm gonna be Beatrice. Okay. Uh, I get a two and a one this time for age. So I am approaching marriage, Ugh, and I'm also available. Uh, I am. The second of three children. Uh, my interests are whist and needlework, since nobody else has those yet. And big money, big money. Uh, three and then four. My father's a builder. Oh, of grand things, I'm sure. Yes, that's what we say. Excellent. And you are now uh, Beatrice. Wedgwood, I have uh, corrected your name. <laughs> That's great. Excellent. So you're back to full constitution dice. Congratulations. <laughs> All you have to do is die. <laughs> <laughs> it's like ripping off a band aid. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Uh, so uh, you all come down for breakfast, uh, having made a, a modest effort, apart from Serafina, who waltzes in with the most beautiful face. I need everybody else to make a constitution uh, constitution no. roll as you behold Serafina's most beautiful face. Uh, I can't even stand it. I got three ones and a three. Oh no! Oh, oh, one no. success right. on my two die. I am just like, oh, I love that. Just showing exuberance to try to get a success and I did not. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> You are overcome. Uh, what is everybody at for their constitution dice? Two. Two. Three. 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 Okay, and, and three as well. That was very quick uh, for Beatrice to join, yes. join the rest uh, of the crew. Can I, can I canonically make it that I'm so torn between do I want to be her or do I want to be with her uh, that I lose oh, constitution? Boy. Yes, I like that. You have confusing feelings. I do. Oh. Me to add that to the list of uh, the list of possible to ways to kill a lady. <laughs> yeah. well, what was it at the time? Consider oh, an intimate friendship. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ladies could have their intimate friends, their bosom friends. <laughs> bosom friends. <laughs> that Did really. He... I mean, how a bosom friend is just supposed to be a very close. I know. Friend. It's just... It's, Clutch them to your bosom. Yeah, it's it's just you can't get much closer wording. than bosom. But like intimate friends, though. That was mm. that was. I hear that intimate friends. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, breakfast is served. It's a much less formal affair than uh, than dinner was. There's tea and uh, toast and preserves. Uh, so maybe some fruit uh, uh, going around, and you're all welcome to tuck in. Lady Marjorie comes down and says, "Good morning, good morning, ladies. Are we all ready for our exciting day?" Lord Nelson is uh, bound to be with us any any moment or uh, this afternoon. I'm so looking forward to his arrival. So um, Mrs. Ball kind of looks around uh, and she she doesn't see uh, Miss Sparrow. Uh, or not Miss Sparrow, but um, 
Oh God! Not float Rebecca. stone. Rebecca. Yeah. It's feather, float it's feather, 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 feather stone. Feather stone. Feather stone. stone. Like, yeah, okay, but stone. doesn't see uh, Rebecca, <laughs> and and uh, she's just like, um, Lady Marjorie. Yes. Do, have you heard of have you have you heard from Rebecca? Uh, oh, is she not not been down yet? No, or she, maybe she's she a late riser. Okay. Well, uh, she just seemed very excited about today's activities. So. Uh, let me, uh, 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 Jenkins. Uh, Jenkins, uh, take a tray up to uh, to 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 Lady Rebecca. Uh, just uh, make sure that she is properly uh, fueled for the day. Shall we say? Uh, yes, I'm sure that uh, she will be very grateful for your attentions. It's nice to see such a, a turnaround in uh, in attitude for you, uh, Clementine. Such wonderful. Oh. We have to look out for each other. Absolutely. Yes, it's very true. That's what being charitable lady is all about, isn't it? Oh, yes. Looking out for each yes. other, helping the poor. I mean, that's why you adopted, like, a gaggle of orphans, right? Oh, a whole herd, yes. <laughs> a herd? Oh. Yes, a herd. Yes. Do you feed them all grass? Like, what do you feed a herd of yeah. orphans? I feed them food, of course. I mean, they do a lot for themselves, but uh, the staff is very, very fond of them, as am I. You know, I found so kind that... of you to have so many wards. Yes, absolutely. That's what I always say. My husband died too early, and I wasn't able to uh, have children myself. Not that I would really want to. Such a dangerous affair, you know. <laughs> so I just mm. took on uh, the uh, the orphans from the orphanage. They um, seem to like noble. it here. Such grounds for them to run about in and such, and I shall look after oh. them and their futures. And uh, oh, they do... chase the squirrels and the... all the... chase them. They not only chase them; sometimes they bring them in the house. For them. <gasps> Devils. Oh, never let herds of orphans in the house. Yes, it does keep the staff entertained trying to track them down. Uh, yes, I'm sure that Jenkins has a great time wrangling them all. <laughs> yes, uh, the, the squirrels and the children both, yes. <laughs> oh, yes, I, I'm sure, yeah. Now, are you looking for a governess for your wards? Because my younger sister just finished her schooling. And oh. she was looking for a place. What were her specialties? Oh, she is very good at French. Um, <gasps> Lady Marjorie seems slightly offended. French. Don't you know we're almost at war with the French? All yes, the better that's... to know the language so that you know what those enemies are saying. I suppose so. Doesn't Maybe seem very it. patriotic. That seems like a loser's mentality. Mm. Um, and she's also very accomplished at letter writing. Oh, letter. She knows her letter. Oh, of course. Yes, she said she was governess. Yes, maybe we could uh, look into something being being arranged. Uh, a governess. They do tend to be a little bit hard on the governesses of the, the past. Uh well, we have many younger siblings, so I'm sure she'd be up to the task. Oh, well, excellent. Let's uh, let's set up an interview uh, uh, sometime next month, perhaps. You can return with her and we can see if uh, the orphans take to her. Of course. I'll write her right, right away. Oh, excellent. Okay. Um, fantastic. Um, anybody else want to... Uh, to jump into a little bit of conversation with Lady Marjorie. Lady Marjorie, I have to confess, your giant machine has me fixated. What? Yes. Yes, I think that there's... Um, how do I say this? I, I read a lot of books, obviously, you know this. We, we are part of a, a book club. I think that... Your machine has the potential to to be a center point in a lovely novel. Oh, a novel! Yes, it's it's got a, a, a chivalric quality to it. It's rather knightly, in fact. You think so? Yes, My yes. Yes, I think it could be the center point of a of a, of a riveting romance. 
Oh, interesting. Uh, who would you suggest would write such a book? Now, that's an interesting question. I have a few authors that I would think that I would commission if if it was me, but I think it's a delicate subject matter. They need to balance the the crudeness of the machine with the 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 warmth of a woman's heart. Oh, I see. Yes, that kind of novel. I I see. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, it's, it's yes. I suppose it seems like you have quite a good handle on the. Uh, would you be interested in such a job yourself? Under a pseudonym, of course. Nobody would oh. buy a book from a lady. But with a suitable I mean, pseudonym, uh, the, the male persuasion, then uh, yes, perhaps we could look into such a thing. I, I, I think that there's a lot there, and I would be honored to help you in, in this endeavor. In any way, uh, if, if I could have a hand at writing it, I, I would appreciate that. But if not, then I, I can definitely look to recommend someone that for your patronage. Oh, absolutely. Uh... And uh, how might I help you in this this endeavor? It seems you're very invested. Well, I I think that your your status alone as as one who has access to such a mech and one with the connections that you have will be enough to to assist in 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 this endeavor. I mean, just being able to. Uh, to a- a- acquire information about, you know, um, what what happens uh, to it when it is in the field, or, oh, or Lady about... Clementine, say no more. You're interested in my mech. I shall give you a tour this afternoon at the gardens. Lovely, oh, thank you. Absolutely, uh, the Lady Serafina, you did seem rather animated just oh, now. And then I said no. <gasps> Got gotcha, your pearls. Everybody, roll constitution. Somebody said no. Was it too loud? Yes. Yes. Two it successes. Too loud. On my two dice. <sighs> oh, you get a skill. Oh yeah, a skill. What skill would you like? Um. Oh, geez. Uh. I think I gotta look at the list again. I didn't think I'd make it this far. <laughs> yeah. I. Uh, would take a skill in charm slash wit. Charm slash wit. Okay, excellent. You're going to be charming and witty. Uh, Kitty, you had mentioned that you were going to go write a letter to your sister. You were quite a hurry to do this, too. It sounded like. Yes. Yes, I immediately went to go write my, my younger sister. And as you uh, sit down to feverishly Right, with your wrist aflame. I'm going to have you no. roll for wrist fevers from uh, furious writing. Oh, you, no. You're down to one, right? I'm down to one, but I am doing it with vitality. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Furiously writing. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, six. Oh, you're still alive. You survive writing this letter. <laughs> it's just ready to go. You pop it in the, uh, over to Jenkins, who will uh, get it mailed immediately. Oh my god! Excellent. During, during that whole exchange, Serafina just like zoned out. It was like I don't even know what the word mech means, and was just talking <laughs> to this person beside her, and just like having this conversation. And like maybe I should set you up with um my my dead husband's brother. Mm. Yes, you seem like a nice woman. Yes, uh, I would love to meet a man. Yes. <laughs> Uh, and yes, yes, he's 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 a he's a lovely man, and you know he's he's oh, in fact he's a he's a he's a twin. He's hmm, hmm. oh, yes. um, I I don't know if that messes with anything for you. People and their superstitions, yes, you know. It's true. I I my mother always said um, twins are evil, so I'm, I just can't. <laughs> I'm so oh, sorry. That's I'm very so generous of you. Um, oh. Darn. Oh. Well, in any case, we should be friends. How would you like to join a little club, as it were? I, I would. And 
I'm glad they mentioned that that we could be friends because uh, I'm not feeling very well. Um, I was oh. thinking maybe this morning I would take a convalescence, um, and it just it means ever so much if if a lady sits beside me while I'm in bed um, and just cares for me. <laughs> Yes, yes, of course. I hope you don't mind if I bring a little trolling pad and some things, you know, just keep myself occupied. Oh, yes, yes, that would yes. probably raise my spirits. Yes, yes. Let's, let's. Let's retire to my room. <laughs> I love it. Fast, Fantastic. Fast on their way to being bosom friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, fantastic. Okay, so uh, the rules for the period of convalescence is that the players involved will retire from play uh, from play to to uh, act out this uh, period of convalescence, which is uh, just going to coincide with the beginning of the lecture uh, on uh, Admiral Nelson. Um, so we will have uh, uh, we'll go and do our uh, lecture. Uh, first of all, and then we will uh, head back to the period of convalescence. Um, I'm sure the other ladies can catch you up on anything you might miss. Okay. Uh, so in the lecture, uh, you are brought into a, a room. Um, it's a comfortable uh, room with like uh, chairs set a, set around, um, and Lady Marjorie is going to uh, to lead the um, uh, to lead the lecture. She'll tell you all about how. Um, Admiral Nelson fought bravely in the American War of Independence uh, and the French Revolutionary Wars. Uh, she'll tell you, unfortunately, he did uh, lose sight in his left eye uh, in the when he was involved in a battle in Corsica in 1794. Uh, so it's best uh, if, when you approach uh, Admiral Nelson, you do so from the from the right side. Um, and it wasn't his only wound because in uh, uh, 1979 he also lost his right arm um, in the Battle of Santa Cruz. Uh, he was hit with musket fire as he was storming a breach bravely. Um, and uh, once taken back to his ship, uh, he was told that the arm had to be amputated and he was up and giving orders within half an hour of having the uh, defending limb uh, discarded from his body. He is a true, true national hero. Um, so when you you meet Lord Admiral Nelson, remember to come at him from the uh, from the right quarter. Don't attempt to link arms with him because uh, the right one is missing. Um, so it's like a, approaching a skittish horse boldly and uh, extend a hand delicately when you when you meet uh, Admiral Nelson. Uh, he will be arriving with his uh, his good friends, uh, Sir William Hamilton. Uh, who was an was an MP? He was an ambassador for the for the United Kingdom, and he's also a volcanologist, whatever one of those is. Whoever knows, and his wife Emma will be attending also. Um, the the lecture the lecture goes on, uh, and you find yourselves uh, losing attention. Is there anything in this room, this very grand lecture theatre, that uh, catches your attention, Kitty and Clementine? Oh. Um... I'm sure there are large windows, right? Oh, yes. Well, this might be a great time to start doing that bird watching we were talking about earlier. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, you're more interested in what's going on outside of the, the windows, trying to spot uh, various different larks, perhaps or sparrows or, um, uh, yes, uh, long-tailed uh, swallows. Yes, it's just the time that uh, swallows migrate up from from the African plates. Um, you can try and spot those out of the window. And Kitty? Uh, well, I'm very interested in, in the architecture of the room. Mm. Um, so I'm, I'm looking at, you know, the, the carvings and the wood and all those oh. details. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, it's very lovely. Um, this room does seem to be uh, a little bit of an older, an older site. Um, style of architecture the regency period was all about like making things like big and very very grand uh they loved good old uh roman columns and things like that that's when that started kind of appearing but this is uh, the older style so deeper wood paneling uh they haven't got around to doing any renovations in here yet as was the trend of the time lady marjorie is maybe a older fashioned uh, kind of person excellent uh let's go to our period of convalescence 
Beatrice, how are you doing? Well, I don't know what's happening around me. That depends. <laughs> how would you like to convalesce? Uh, reclining gracefully and with my best side. <laughs> <laughs> Serafina, you are there also, drawing perhaps. Yes, yes, yes. Her best side. Yes, of course. Mm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but every side's her best side, so it's really not hard. Yeah. Mm. I'm feeling great, so hopefully mm. this goes uh, well. <laughs> Excellent. So you can roll your constitution dice for a success. Mm -hmm. um, Serafina, do you have any skill dice at this point? I have no skill dice, but I'm missing one constitution dice. Mm, I'll let you roll uh, one dice to assist with this. Usually, it would Okay. Be, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't get anything, so... Oh. I rolled a six. Okay. Oh. Um, okay, so with one success, it doesn't get any better, but it doesn't get oh, yeah. any worse. So you're okay. Well, I do feel, though, that... On my own, I'm just not quite enough. But with with you beside me, I, I feel I feel strong. About mm. the same, but not worse. Oh no, you're so sweet. Mm -hmm. We are going to be the best of friends. Yes. Oh, the best. When was the lecture supposed to be again? I look at my timepiece in the room. <gasps> I think <gasps> I think we might have missed it. We should hurry. <gasps> oh, shall shall we away? Let's away. Let's away. Okay, you can uh, scuttle down and sneak in at the, the back of the uh, lecture room just in time to hear all of that information that was divulged earlier. Uh, it's a lot, it's repetitive. There's uh, much to say about um, Admiral Nelson, but it's best repeated, I guess. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to get it wrong uh, when he comes in. No, no, absolutely. Definitely the instructions about approaching from the, the right side boldly and extending a gentle hand is the, the thing that comes comes through to you. Um, excellent. The lecture draws to a close uh, and you're invited to, uh, to partake in a tour of the grounds. Um, Lady Marjorie will let uh, Clementine know that the orphans were very excited that you were interested in the mech. Uh, and they might put on a, uh, a display for you, uh, should you wish. Oh, that would be lovely. Tell them I would I would greatly appreciate that. Excellent, excellent. Uh, if you will accompany me, I shall take you to the, the testing grounds. Uh, the but rest of, of you might, uh, might also care to join as well, should you wish. Uh, if not, feel free to, to stroll about the grounds uh, as, uh, as you like. Kitty has seen the mech once enough. Uh, she will <laughs> stroll along the grounds. <laughs> Excellent. You'll stroll in the other direction. Yep. Uh, how about uh, Serafina and Beatrice? I'm very interested in this mech. I'm so curious. What is a mech? I, I have to see this. Is it like a giant painting? or? But there's a herd of orphans in it. And they like to chase squirrels. And I think they like stand on each other's shoulders or something. Oh, <laughs> do they wear like a giant dress on top and then Maybe. do a dance? Or I think so. Oh. Hmm. They're Sounds they're just quite amusing. The circus. Well, <laughs> 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 <sighs> mm. I, I would love to see this. Let's let's go. Excellent. Okay. Um, so let's go with our uh, mech goers first of all. You follow Lady Marjorie out. Uh, it's a little way. Um, it's a bit of a chillier day than uh, uh, than the um, the day before. It's a bit cloudy, a little bit a little bit breezy, um, and there's quite a lot of you uh, heading out uh, in the same direction. Many ladies are eager to see uh, the the mech in action. Um, and uh, it gets a little crowded on the path. They don't want to tread on the lawn, of course. It's too beautiful. So all of the ladies are very congested as they are strolling. And I'm going to have the three of you roll for strolling congestion. Oh, oh man. What? All right. Strolling, strolling congestion. congestion. <laughs> I don't think I've rolled a success with Beatrice even. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> 
two points. I got one well, success. Yeah. No. It was a five. Okay. Oh. Uh, two success. Yeah. Oh, uh, Seraphina and Clementine are off on their off on their own at the at the front. Uh, Beatrice, in your urgency to keep up with uh, with Seraphina, you get like battered <laughs> around by some of the other ladies. Uh, and it's, You'd think uh, I would enjoy this, but I don't. <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, wow! Oh my god! Oh my god. How, many, how many die is that? Oh. Is Beatrice at right now? One. <laughs> One? Oh my goodness! No. Uh, you have rough. to be kidding me, Trisha! You're you're mincing your characters. <laughs> you're an organ grinder. Oh, yeah. oh my god! Yeah. Oh, it's not a good era to be a queer lady. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, uh, an God. absolute wood chipper. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, that's gonna be my name now. <laughs> Trisha the wood chipper. That's <laughs> your mob name. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, so you reach the uh, the mech proving grounds, um, and uh, Lady Marjorie has you um, uh, sort of uh, seated. There's some garden chairs that have been brought out by the staff. Um, and in front of you, you can see uh, a series of, of hedges that have been set up. Uh, there's also a series of, of levers uh, just at the front of the, the seating area. Um, and uh, Lady Marjorie gets out one of those big trumpets, uh, like um, a, uh, that like magnifies your voice. She just holds it up to her mouth and says, uh, come on, uh, children, uh, bring out uh, Havisham. Uh, and this, this mech, comes into view from around the uh, uh, around the side of the house. Um, uh, it, it's not 15 feet tall. It's actually 50 feet tall. So perhaps uh, Kitty, in her surprise last night, uh, was mistaken about the proportions. This thing is gargantuan. You could definitely fit a whole herd of orphans <laughs> inside this mech. Uh, probably more than five. Who knows? Um and it's uh, it comes out and uh, gives a salute uh, to the ladies and uh, settles down. Uh, oh my lady, goodness! <laughs> uh, lady Marjorie uh, calls uh, Clementine forward and says, uh, uh, "Dear, uh, do be the uh, dear and pull on on that lever right there." She ushers you towards the, the levers at the front. Oh well, thank you, Lady Marjorie. I I would be honored to, and so she'll give it a good pull. Uh, Ooh, and this one too, right? <laughs> oh yeah uh, you rush forward and yank on another lever um, as you pull on these levers you hear a kind of a whirring sound uh, and then that row of hedges like just beyond uh, two um, wooden uh, like cutouts of Frenchmen like <laughs> pop up uh, and the mech comes from its salute and just like turns around and s- stomps forward and then does this like eye blast of like eldritch weird crackling energy towards one, and this wooden thing just explodes. Um, and then with the other, uh, it sort of stumps forward and uh, pulls out a big fist and uh, smooshes um, the other card, uh, wooden wooden Frenchman. Uh, it is a both violent and brilliant display of uh, mechanized mechanized power. Absolutely stunning. That's magnificent. Oh, yes. Rather effective when you have uh, Frenchmen storming the grounds, theoretically. Oh, yes. I, I can... I mean, Lady Mandria, I think the story writes itself. I mean, this giant metal beast and its its raw power and and the backdrop of a, a, a war, I, I just... It's the romance of it all. Romance with the mech? That seems rather unusual. No, no, no. The 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 mech is a vehicle for like the tension that we as women experience during the war. Oh. It's it's the it's the cre it's the crude marching of society, uh, with us having to bear the weight of it all. <laughs> absolutely beyond me but my goodness yes I, i'm sure people do enjoy such words in other places that aren't here absolutely <laughs> lady clementine you have the job 
I could see that you have a writer's spirit in there, and if you wish to write a story about this mech, or a mech, maybe change its name, and the place that it comes from, and the herd of orphans inside. In of fact, course, I wouldn't like course. it to really reflect my mech at all, but I absolutely have that. Of, co- of, of course, of course, of course. Thank you. Yes. yes. I, will, I will do everything in my power to respect your privacy to the utmost. Uh, just know that I think you will be contributing something great to the world. Are you concerned at all that perhaps with all this talk of the gears of industry that you might be mistaken for one of those sympathizers? You know, oh. one that would want to upset the uh, the established order of society? Oh no, I don't think so. If we have enough French people dying in our story, no one would be the wiser. I suppose you're right. I'll leave it up to you. You're the writer after all. Ha! Uh, we will go to uh, to Kitty in the other part of the garden, having strolled off in the opposite direction, very willfully. I had mentioned that it was colder today, and you didn't mention that you brought your shawl. So, I'm going to please ask you to roll for shawl sufficiency. I didn't mention the shawl. <laughs> <laughs> I finally got you, Brianna. You're not wearing it either. Oh. <laughs> On the bright side, I walk with vim and vitality. Mm-hmm. Fingers crossed. But I may have walked into a bond. No! <laughs> are, you, are you out of dice? I'm done. Yeah. Oh, no. Miss Sparrow! Oh my god. You find should yourself. never walk alone. Oh my god. <laughs> I just never walk alone. <laughs> You find yourself too far from the house as you realize my shawl is insufficient. As you turn and trudge back, the, uh, the, the weather overwhelms you and you simply have to sit down for just a moment. Just a moment is forever. <laughs> <laughs> the forever moment. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, oh, this makes me <laughs> So let's have you roll up another character, probably one that's over at the mech demonstration. Oh. Okay, yeah, she'll be at the mech because she wasn't terrified of the mech the night before. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, I am approaching marriageable age. Oh, excellent. But I'm widowed. Oh. Oh, join the club. Yay. Yay. Are we related? We'll see. Oh, well, I am an only child. Oh, Ooh. how unusual. I know. Um, my interests will be hmm, conversation and dancing. <laughs> oh, oh just in time for the ball. Yeah. Just uh, in time. Party. And what will your new name be? Oh, my new name, Portia Lemongrass. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fabulous name. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I gotta put that in the bank. Uh, I am second class. <gasps> and my father is a baron. Oh, my. Ooh. I'm just rolling a lot of ones is what's happening. It's not yeah. going to work out uh, later. Yeah, you get them all out now. <laughs> um, excellent. So with uh, the mech demonstration completed and uh, uh, I mean the non-discovery of, of Kitty's body at this point, um, do we want to take a 10 minute break? Does that sound good? Sure, yeah. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, so let's be back at about 8.50 PST, and uh, yeah, let's do it.
I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, I'm glad to hear you're ready. Because we are back. Young, wealthy widow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've taken our period of convalescence. That was a little message that came up. Uh, and we are back and ready to kill some more ladies. I mean, be Regency ladies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Excellent. Uh, so the gardens were quite pleasant. The afternoon was quite chilly. So you didn't take too long um, outside. You've retired back into the house um, at this point. Uh, preparing for tonight's dinner. Uh, and the the ball afterwards. Um, so uh, you do have the proper amount of time this time to to get ready for dinner, uh, and uh, maids have actually come in to to help you get ready. Seraphine has not very much had to be done, of course, for you. Um, but uh, you told that Lady Marjorie has brought you a gift. You've caught her attention, and she has uh, a necklace that she thinks will very much suit your. Com- um, your uh, your complexion, yes, very much mm. so your complexion. Um, and a uh, a maid comes in. She introduces herself as uh, uh, as Gabby, um, and uh, she has the most beautiful chestnut hair. I'm going to need you to roll Constitution to contain your envy because oh, beautiful okay. chestnut hair is on that list. <laughs> Two successes. Ooh. Mm. You've nothing to be envious of. <laughs> no. Not with that face. No. <laughs> Should make her roll to see if she withstands the beauty of your face. <laughs> the servants are dropping like flies. She <laughs> she fails? Oh my god. Her heart explodes, clearly. <laughs> then you can make her hair and make it a wig. It's a win win. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Excellent. Okay, uh, she brings over the uh, the necklace for you, um, and uh, fastens it around your neck and looks at your reflection. Says, "Oh, it's beautiful." It really is. Oh, oh, oh! I think I have the perfect dress for this. Oh, absolutely. Oh, uh, would you like me to help you uh, help you get into it? Oh, yes, please, please, please. It'll be a even more extravagant number than last time with the matching color of whatever this clip is. Mm-hmm. And how else can I make it extra? What color is it? What color would you like it to be? Um, well, what, did, did you have a, a color in mind for the gemstone? Emerald, maybe? Ah, you read my mind. Yes. There's an emerald dress and an emerald necklace. Yes. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I'll have everyone green with envy. Oh. Oh. <gasps> you should write a book. <laughs> <laughs> um, excellent. Okay. Uh, how about uh, Kitty? Are you uh, preparing for this evening? Kitty's well, dead. Kitty is oh, dead. Oh, my apologies. <laughs> Kitty is dead. Portia, how dare I? <laughs> um, well, uh, Lady Portia Lemongrass, the Dowager Baroness oh. of Lindengard. Uh, <laughs> how prodigious. I know. A very <laughs> young widow. Um She's, you know, she's just fresh out of mourning. She's finally not stuck in black clothing anymore. So she's going to go with a pale blue number. Oh, delightful. Very classy. Excellent. Um, and yeah, it's a very beautiful, uh, beautiful color. The maid will, um, uh, compliment uh, how how good it how good it looks uh, on you. It compliments your complexion beautifully. Um, as she uh, she goes to sort of adjust uh, some of it, she has terribly cold hands. Some of it touches your flesh. Um, <laughs> your, sorry, it's de- delicate skin. I play too much D and I describe it as flesh. No, delicate skin. Um, Leash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and cold hands is number one on that list. I'm going to need you to roll constitution to save yourself from the cold hands of this maid. Oh, at the very top. 
I got a six. So. Safe. <laughs> Safe. Excellent. Uh, Beatrice, what are you wearing for this evening's soiree? Oh, I don't even know. My mother packs all my dresses. Um, I just look, I, I guess this one, uh, I'll pull out uh, a kind of puce colored dress. Oh, the maid screeches. Oh, no. Ew. Very loudly. Uh, Please roll constitution to see you. <laughs> if you die, I'm be so upset for you. <laughs> Literally <laughs> shouted to death. <laughs> You did pick puce, though, so you kind of brush them. I, I see the color for the first time, and I'm like, <gasps> uh, and Oh, no! I <laughs> should the wood chippers strikes again! <laughs> Oh my god! Trisha the Woodchipper. Oh. If only I de- developed skills or talents. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. I mean, the likelihood was that oh. you would have at this point, but, but no, yeah. apparently not. Um, okay, well, fantastic. Um, <laughs> uh, let's go to Clementine, and then I guess we'll meet whoever Trisha is going to play next. <laughs> There's a disturbance oh. all around me. His death fills the air. No, uh, Clementine uh, puts an adequate amount of antiperspirant on. Uh, and now that she has plenty of time to prepare, she knows ju- just the amount uh, with her years of practice. Um, and she picks a, uh, a bright uh, kind of sunny yellow dress to go with her uh, coppery hair. Oh. Excellent. Oh, that's wonderful. Um as you're getting dressed, uh, the uh, there's a knock at the door, and uh, the maid goes over and opens it, and the butler hands a, a letter in. It's a letter from from your husband at the inn, and uh, the maid hands it over to you to to read and to peruse. Well, um, I guess she will read the letter. Oh, it's the most shocking letter. Your husband tells of terrible turn in uh, in trade and business since you've been gone. Um, something about your essence uh, uh, seems to hold the place together, um, and the way that he writes uh, so passionately for a for a man, in fact, showing his emotions in in written form. Uh, you are overcome with uh, letter reading fits. I would like you to roll Constitution to survive. I I, uh, I would like to um, using my charm and wit to to kind of talk through my emotions with the maid uh, mm-hmm. as as this all is very surprising. Oh, three fours! <laughs> oh <laughs> no! <laughs> Three fours. It was all all so close. <laughs> so close. Oh, Clementine, was... I'm down to one. You are distracted with the pe- potential failure of the business uh, <laughs> that you've worked so hard to maintain, uh, and you are down to a single constitution dice and one skill now. <sighs> yes, that is correct. Oh, I'm so close to death. <sighs> She she might she might have to excuse herself from this ball to convalesce. Oh my! Uh, oh, well, dinner the, will come first. So yes, maybe yeah. you could take a tray or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She she's the news is just so hard and heavy that she she'll need to recover from this experience. Okay, excellent. Um. So yeah, you will be convalescing through through dinner, as is as is uh, as is appropriate. Um, and we need a new character, uh, Trisha. Who will you be playing now? <clears throat> I am Mrs. Ruby Strongbottom. <laughs> I am a widowed old maid. I have no interests uh, because they are for the weak, and uh, I am the daughter of a large scale merchant. I have new money, and I am not ashamed of it. Oh my! It sounds like you might be from the colonies too, or a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> I find both of those statements uncouth, uh, but I accept it, and I don't care. It's how I've lived this long. Uh, Ruby Strongbottom, you say? 
Yes. Yeah, it's definitely a dwarf. We have oh, that's definitely spelled wrong. <laughs> let me just <laughs> let me just fix that up. Mm-hmm. Okay. I love it. Right. Uh, and Ruby, uh, what kind of dress are you wearing for this evening's uh, dinner and ball? Ruby, like my name. I always wear Ruby. Oh. In every for every outfit. I love it. Okay. <laughs> I, Did the name come first with the color? Nobody knows. <laughs> I think of a test, uh, but I'm afraid that Ruby's not going to make it to dinner. <laughs> uh, so you can pass on this one. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, so uh, at six o'clock, we're all called down to dinner. A grand table has been laid in the uh, out in the dining room. Uh, there's the ornate place settings. Um, there's uh, glittering uh, crystal chandeliers and uh, candelabras along the table lighting up this uh, this wonderfully ornate room. Uh, the servants are in their uh, very, very best uh, set of uniforms. Uh, and the officers of the local garrison have also arrived looking rather spiffing indeed as well. Uh, all uh, buttons polished, uh, waiting to make your acquaintance. Um, as you are seated at the uh, at the table, and um, you are each seated next to a to a male companion, uh, and tell me who is your dining companion? I am. Uh, my dining companion seems like a a young rake. Oh, um, and I had my marriage of properness, so. I'm ready for some rakish fun. Ooh. <laughs> okay. uh, fantastic. What is what is his name? Uh, he is this he is a second son of someone important, and his name is Lieutenant William Herbert. Excellent. <laughs> rakish name. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> William <laughs> Herbert. <laughs> Fitz Herbert. That's more oh. rakish. Mm-hmm. Kind of Fitz. Everybody's got to have a Fitz. Uh, <laughs> excellent. How about you, Every Ruby? I almost had one. Uh, sitting next to me is Sir Roger Federer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, he reminds me of my son who died when he was five. I have taken a shine to him. Yeah, taking him a deal. Reminds you of a (laughs) five-year-old. Oh, they're all so young nowadays. Oh my! Something about the eyes. I'm imagining. Yeah, there's just a twinkle. Just a, just a twinkle. Um, and uh, Clementine, who is your dining companion? Uh, is she convalescing right now, or did she? Oh, she's convalescing. You're right. Yes. Okay. Um. Uh. How about we uh, we we do your convalescing now? Would you like to uh, see how you do? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I think um, she'll spend this time kind of composing herself and writing a response to her husband, in which she explains that you know they are two halves of that enterprise, and that she has faith in his ability to to pull things together, and that. Uh, she has uh, interesting spro- prospects with the lady of the house uh, on the horizon that should uh, help alleviate some of the, the the woes that they're currently experiences. So uh, she wants her husband, Mr. Ball, to know that as long as he keeps his head and his heart strong, uh, we will weather this this trial together. Aww. That's a very heartwarming letter. Let's hope you finish it and he gets it. Let's yes, see. Let us, let us hope with my uh, one die that we get this. Oh, it's a six. <laughs> yes. Okay. It doesn't uh, get any worse. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, you do not die. Uh, I'm just trace. happy to be alive. <laughs> but you get a skill, right? If it's one die. Oh, yeah. You rolled all successes. I'll I'll Ooh. take more charm and wit. That's that's what's going to get Clementine through this evening. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Um, and finally, Serafina, uh, who are you looking for as your uh, dining companion? 
Uh, can it be Nelson? Or does it have to be somebody different? Oh, you look around for um, for Admiral Nelson. He isn't here. Uh, oh. Lady Marjorie well, comes and takes her seat at the, the table and uh, calls for attention. She says, uh, unfortunately, uh, Admiral Nelson has been delayed. He won't be able to make it uh, uh, with us for, for dinner this evening, but uh, mm. he will be in, here in time for the, for the dancing and the, uh, the ball. I'm very sorry to disappoint you all, but he will be oh. here, I do promise. Well, then in that case, I, I will be dining with his oldest friend, Colonel Sanderson, who is more than twice my age, <laughs> and quite appropriate. Has... Is it though? That's weird. Uh, you are and, a widow. Uh, I am a widow, but he's like as the other widow. <laughs> he's like fifty. <laughs> hey. mm. And um, he basically speaks in coughs. That that's how old he is in this time. Oh, bye. Yes. It yeah. must be a very trying time for you at dinner. Mm, very. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is something uh, like that about like um, a terrible, terrible companionship. Uh, yeah, in fact, I think let's do it. Let's have you roll for oh. how off put you are by your dining companion's uh, no! composure at dinner. At one point, he like coughs and a little bit of food comes out, and you have to like, oh. try and ignore it. Two sixes. Okay. Mm. Oh. <laughs> This is fine. This is, fine. This is great. Wait, two Athena sixes? Holding on. Out of two, how six, many? Three. Ah. Oh, so close. This is, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> this is wonderful. I, I love dinner. <laughs> it's delicious. Uh, how about Ruby? How is uh, how is Roger doing with your uh, attentions to like spit shine his face, I'm imagining? Oh, you got a little smudge Ew. there. I wipe it off. Uh, I don't know. You tell me. Is it, how is he reacting? Uh, much like a five-year-old, he kind of tries to shrug you off. Now, Sonny, that's no way to act. There'll be plenty of beautiful women here, and you shouldn't shy away from a woman's touch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy hey. wrote his constitution touch. <laughs> Dang! Dang. He wrote yeah. his Oedipus yeah. constitution touch. <laughs> <laughs> He got one success. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad he weathered that. I'd be dead. Put <laughs> <laughs> me in the dirt. <laughs> uh, and uh, Portia, um, you're enjoying the company of this uh, this rakish young man, as you as you put it. Uh, how are you attempting to to flirt with him? Um. I love conversation, so I'm trying to keep up the conversation and be as witty as possible. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's it. He's actually for being as rakish as he is. He's actually uh, kind of dumb, and he doesn't get it. So you have to like explain a lot of the jokes and like yeah, keep bringing it down a level and down a level. It's actually uh, it's really difficult to to try oh, and no. like get him to understand things. In fact, it's causing you a bit of a headache. Uh, I wouldn't go <sighs> so far as to call it a flirting headache, which is on the list. Please roll for flirting headache. Flirting headache. Okay. Flirting. You know what? I've been on plenty of bad dates. But... Yep. <laughs> oh, wow. I have a success at least one, so we're fine. One, uh, Two successes. Two successes. Two successes. Okay. You're not in it for the conversation. <laughs> you He's handsome. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> you will flirt with this man. <laughs> uh, excellent. Uh, Lady Clementine, would you like to uh, to join us at dinner and perhaps uh, find uh, a, a dinner partner? I would. I would. Uh, I think um, my partner is a kind of a sheepish young private uh, who, who looks out of place um, and uh, just... Uh, I feel bad for him, so I, I sit next to him, kind of. Okay. You know. Okay. Um, yeah. Do we have a Do we have a, a name for him, or is he too shy? He's just uh, a mysterious gentleman. Uh, he will be uh, Richard Oswald. Oh, Richard Oswald. Okay. Uh, fantastic. So, um. 
Actually, uh, Serafina, that was really, really gross, that thing that happened to you. And it keeps replaying in your mind, just that, like, <laughs> really of food. Uh, could you please roll for the unpleasantness? Oh, I already <laughs> passed the it unpleasantness. I love I that name. <laughs> failed that one. Failed. Oh, no. Oh, I have two dice now. Oh, man. <sighs> Serafina is going to go by by soon I bet. <laughs> so i'm gonna refer to all my bad days oh i'm just trying to get away from the unpleasantness <laughs> <laughs> uh, excellent okay um so it's a dinner dinner wraps up and uh the last dessert course is uh, is taken away uh the men retire to um uh, to the smoking room and the the ladies retire to the parlor um where uh, the research that I did on this says that the the most boisterous of the ladies, the one that likes to talk the most, perhaps the most important person there, uh, likes to fill the air with conversation. Uh, who do you all think that that is? And it will not be Lady Marjorie. <laughs> Portia. What, pray yes. tell, is so, so captivating that you have to share it uh, long and proud with all of these these fine ladies. Of course. Well, as you know, I am recently out of mourning, so I can finally wear pretty colors again. Mm. So I went to London and I had a whole new wardrobe made. So of course I have to talk about the latest fashions. Oh, yes. Absolutely. I heard uh, smaller bustles are in, Lady Marjorie says. I always liked a big bustle myself, you know, something to cushion. But... Uh... Uh, I hear that's the the fashion these days. It is the fashion, and she gets up and does a little twirl so everyone can see her smaller bustle. That's very small. It's like there's almost nothing there. It's like a womanly figure is suddenly diminished somehow. Oh, oh, we're still rolling Roll shade. shade. Oh. <laughs> I think remember that was Lady Marjorie. Oh, <laughs> she does not approve of Marjorie's fashion. Oh wow. Yes. Cutting deep. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know. It it works on a younger figure. Uh, oh. Oh. oh my goodness. Uh, oh. And two portions. <laughs> <laughs> oh my dear. Oh. Lady Marjorie's about to experience the night of long knives out here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she does glare at you a little. She says, "My, tell me, uh, did you bear any children while your husband was alive? <laughs> Is that also no. why you're quite narrow in the hip? Oh my goodness. Oh, she called well, me barren? I, of course, have many years left. Oh. It's true, to bear children yourself. I prefer to uh, adopt the orphan as my charitable nature guides my choices in life yes it's it's absolutely so wonderful that someone of your age has decided to take in so many youngsters yes it's all one can do with is to look after the future generations of course rather than hoarding all one's wealth in small buses <laughs> oh <laughs> lady marjorie you're so generous so 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 generous. Oh, speak, speak. I don't nothing. understand oh, what's happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about the bustles, dear. The bustles. See Someone how there's from nothing. The new world wouldn't understand. <laughs> oh. I forgot my hearing cone. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm praying for Ruby. <laughs> I mm. I want her to live through tonight. <laughs> <laughs> She's my favorite. Yeah. like just how old is ruby oh like probably 70s okay how are you a witch through tonight no the reason the average like age was so low was because so many women would die in childbirth like they'd still live to like 60 oh. 70 if they made it through birth oh yeah yes. i'm still gonna look at you like a witch though because you're the <laughs> and you're 70 okay. and i just yeah yeah okay. i'm fine with that okay the witch from the new world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're all witches over there. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. I thought they burned them all. 
Mm. I'll lean soon. <laughs> We're past that. <laughs> Are you at this point? Yeah, I didn't that was know like 200 that. years ago. Well, where'd they get more? From now. <laughs> they well, I did leave for a them. reason. Where'd wow. they get the, the, <laughs> the other ones? <laughs> Yeah. Got, England I bet they also got them burning from witches Canada. at that time. <laughs> oh wow! I don't think I think I... that was medieval times. Uh, Lady Marjorie will turn to uh, Portia and say, "Oh my dear, how happy are your parents? Uh, parents too happy is on the list. It's oh. royal constitution." <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we're about to find out if they're well suited or not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Success. I got a five. Just happy Happy. enough, I see. (laughs) Just well suited. (laughs) Okay. They've settled. (laughs) (sighs) Uh, Parents being happy. (laughs) What are you making of all of this? Well, you know, if they're happy, then that means they're not satisfied with the way you're living your life. So it just kills you. Oh. Oh. They're comparing you to themselves because they're so happy and life's <laughs> tough for you. <laughs> uh, uh, Serafina, how are you feeling about all of this This going on? How are you spending your time? It's just, it's too much. And, and, and I'm just strolling about, just, just strolling and strolling <laughs> and strolling. <laughs> Might one even say, hmm. Uh, which is also on the oh, list, right below. Is that really on the list? <laughs> right below knitting needles too heavy. Oh my god. None of you took okay. up uh, embroidery or needles. sewing, damn it. Yeah. Too heavy. Oh, I almost Sarafina. took uh, needle no. work. Did she- you can do it. Oh, I'm down to one. You you failed? Yeah. Oh no. Oh. oh. You know, At least you in won't my have head, to dance I was. That guy. I was just thinking about how lucky Serafina was for having three die and if it just and vanished. <gasps> yeah. Cursed her with your mind. Maybe you're a witch. No, yeah, it was yeah. me. It was clearly me. You, <laughs> hey, if, if that's what you need, Alante, to get through this, then I, I will be I will be the witch. I do. I was doing so well. And then I, I just I We need happen. to get you an evil eye charm, clearly. Um, okay so after all of this uh, excitement in the parlor uh, finally the men have finished smoking um, and uh, the doors open uh, into a very grand uh, ballroom and you are led out and uh, William and Roger and Colin and Richard are all there uh, ready to take uh, take your arms um, and uh, start off the third da- first dance just as uh, you are getting ready to start uh, a waltz. In fact, it's a new new dance. Um, the uh, the doors open, uh, and Lady Marjorie is standing there. So, ladies, ladies, um, I would like you to all make the acquaintance of uh, Admiral Nelson. Here he is with his uh, friends, uh, Sir William Hamilton, and his lovely wife. Emma, and there before you stands Admiral Nelson in his uh, in his naval uniform, uh, and missing the right arm, and uh, sort of looking at you all like this. Out of one eye. Oh, pleasure to meet your acquaintance, ladies. Uh, please, please, uh, go ahead and begin the dancing. Uh, I shall uh, take a seat over here. He goes and uh, sits down to to one side, um, and uh, the dancing will commence. Who? Who were we talking about before? During our our uh, group convalescence, it I think it was it, Emma Nelson. Emma, uh, Emma um, Hamilton, the yes. wife of uh, William Hamilton. Yes, where is she I... sitting in relation to them? Oh, the Hamiltons and Lord Nelson are sitting at at the same table. Uh, just to I, one side. I just want to throw it out there that I feel like Serafina looks like an even younger version of Emma Hamilton. Oh, okay. Uh, excellent. Uh, so the the music uh, begins. A, a quartet has been brought in to to uh, start the uh, start the dancing. 
Um, and who would like to take a turn around the dance floor? Oh, Portia's going around the dance floor. Oh, absolutely. Uh, William, no doubt, is your uh, your chosen partner. Uh, of course. Uh, how how graceful is 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 he? Is he a good a good dance partner? Um, let me roll a dice and find out. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, he's pretty good. He, yeah, yeah. Like on a on a d four, you got a three. So okay. good. Yeah. No yeah. Bad. three quarters good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excellent. You can enjoy your uh, above average. <laughs> there you go. Above average dancer. <laughs> uh, let's see if that eases your flirting headaches. Uh, having oh. a change of activity. Oh my god. Ooh. 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 One more. Yes! I got oh. six. <laughs> oh, nice. that was close. Uh, yeah, so you ease on your uh, <laughs> flirting headaches and uh, seem to be getting along famously. That's mm. fantastic. No, we don't um, have to talk. We can just dance. Mm. <laughs> Let your bodies talk. <laughs> he has his hand on my waist in this one. It's scandalous. Oh, my. Um, how about you, Ruby? How are you doing? Oh, yeah. I'm definitely dancing. Um, I believe that Sir Roger Federer, uh, two left feet, keeps stepping on my feet. So now I am trying to step on his feet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dance of stomping. Oh. Whack a ball of feet. <laughs> what? Uh, I would like him he... to roll constitution again. <laughs> he will. Oh, he failed. Is this revenge for two your two failed ladies? He's just cheating. Are you just killing really an NPC? I'm the wood grinder. <laughs> <laughs> Trisha living up to her name as the wood chipper. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Hey, my, if it's not her, it's an NPC. <laughs> Wait, how did you end up killing my characters? <laughs> <laughs> it's the power oh. of Ruby. This is why she needs to live. Got oh. yeah, more still. I haven't had to roll yet. I just keep turning it back around. <laughs> yeah, a lesson for you all. Uh, Clementine, how's it going with uh, with you and your dance partner? So I think instead of. Uh, I think the way Clementine kind of engages with Richard is that she's trying to help him kind of confidently approach someone who isn't married and who isn't, you know, uh, at, at her, in her standing. And so I think uh, she spends a lot of time kind of coaching him on his approach and kind of like pointing out ladies that she thinks is going to be a good match for his temperament and, you know, um, that that kind of stuff. Excellent. Okay. Um. Yep. Yeah, you can absolutely uh, sort of point him towards uh, some of the other ladies, which, uh, yeah, maybe in a future life <laughs> you might get to flirt with uh, <laughs> yeah. with Richard. Uh, Seraphine, how's it going with with you and your your dance partner? I I think it's going really well. Uh, there's something about him having a few drinks in him that might have calm down the coughing mm-hmm. maybe it's something <laughs> mental i don't know and uh we're just we're, we're dancing around the room giving a good old show oh yeah his coughing does overcome his he says oh my my dear i may have to sit down i'm so sorry uh perhaps we could find you a new partner uh, who uh uh uh, uh. Um, is there anybody that catches your eye, my dear? <laughs> oh, I mean, I would love to meet the Admiral personally. Oh, of, of course, he's a dear friend of mine. Come, come. <gasps> you don't say. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, now away. we much we must must approach from his right side and uh, extend a gentle hand. Remember, uh, as yes. I lead you over, uh, Admiral Nelson. May I introduce my esteemed uh, f- uh, lady friend, uh, Seraphina Winchester? And he uh, he brings you over to the admiral. The admiral looks up and says, "Oh, pleasure to meet you." Uh, oh, is... I mean, a pleasure is... to meet you, my lady. It is an absolute pleasure to meet you, oh. and I. I, I do the correct thing. Approach from the right hand, gracious. He takes your hand, and kisses it, and has oh, such gentlemen. Oh, oh. Yeah. 
how is the uh, how is the weekend retreat going for you, my dear? Oh, it's it's quite lovely, except now I don't have a dance partner. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, you wouldn't be so inclined, would you? Uh, well, I mean, if you uh, don't mind, um, I, I can certainly lead with the left hand, but you may have to hold me rather close, I'm afraid. Oh, I would love that. Thank yeah. you. Uh, he's noticed at this point that you do look uh, very much like a younger uh, Emma Hamilton. And uh, he's very eager to make your acquaintance. He will join mm-hmm. you on the dance floor. Oh. <laughs> uh, says, hold, hold tight around, around my waist, my dear. Uh, oh, like this? Or tighter? Oh, <laughs> oh my. Uh, <laughs> such, such scandal. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just following your lead. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> this, uh, this is most... Uh, yeah. It's most charming of you, uh, Miss Winchester. Oh. It is Miss Winchester, isn't it? It is. Oh, yes. uh, fortunate. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just bats, bats his eyes, you know, hoist the puppies just a little bit just so that you show off the emeralds. Oh my, yeah. it's getting rather warm in here, don't you think? Oh, should we? <laughs> shall we this man's not going to make it. But There's a, a balcony right there. Do you, do you need some air? Oh, uh, yes, absolutely. Just, uh, just go to the balcony, my dear. Oh, yes, I shall yes. escort you. Uh, oh, such a gentleman. Uh, Lord Admiral, uh, Lord Nelson will uh, accompany you to the, uh, to the balcony. Uh, other ladies in the room, you witness this shameless abandon. Lord Nelson is a married man. You are scandalized. Roll constitution. No. <laughs> oh no! My I'm one sorry. thing might have killed me, Alante. I My didn't one... know okay. that would happen. We're gonna find out. I have four okay. dice. I just rolled a six and two fives. <gasps> we're gonna we're gonna talk gonna about take this. Lessons. We're gonna talk about this with other people around us. Oh, uh, and I would like to bring my charm and wit die into this because. Uh, <laughs> this isn't looking good. <laughs> oh my goodness, I got a five. You're five. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're good. You're safe. You this did get another skill, you. right? No, no, no. no. I no. had to use oh, okay. two of my skill die uh, to, to yes. survive here. Yes. Uh, excellent. And uh, how did how did Ruby do? Um, I passed three out of four, unlike someone else. <laughs> Uh, I think Portia got all successes. What skill are you taking? Um, I think she, because she loves dancing, so I think she has to be graceful. Mm. Mm. I feel like you were taking lessons from Serafina, just like, oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> I all see the game it. these widows are playing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh jeez! Excellent. <laughs> uh, let's let's continue with the scandal as we uh, we follow uh, Serafina Winchester and Admiral Nelson outside onto the balcony. It's a, a cool evening. Breeze is uh, coming across the terrace. It's just rather lovely uh, here on the second floor uh, balcony, overlooking the gardens. It really is. Yes. I'm a little, just a little. Would you mind? Your, your jacket just looks so nice. Oh, yes. Um, uh, you'll have to help me with the buttons. Yeah, it's quite tricky with only the one arm. Oh, oh is, this, is this all right? Yes. Is this okay? Yes. <laughs> and, and hold you tight, right? I, well, it does preclude the, the buttons being undone, oh. but uh, I suppose. Uh, oh. Yeah, he'll have to put it on your. Uh, he'll try and uh, help. Oh, the, hey, the jacket. let me help you with the the back part. Oh, oh, you. T- I, <coughs> I, I, oh, uh, roll a uh, constitution to push Lord Admiral over the the balcony. That's a six. Six. Oh. Uh, he was not expecting oh, this. Oh, and I get a new skill. <laughs> I'm gonna, <laughs> my skill will be grace. Because I was pro. <laughs> Excellent. 
Uh, Lord Ethereal Nelson topples over the railing uh, and plummets uh, to the ground uh, below. He was not prepared for you. He actually came slightly to the left side and sh- like shoved him forward. Um, and he uh, topples over the side. You are left uh, standing alone on the balcony with your grace. Is this, is this why Sir? <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, I return to the dance hall. You do return to the dance hall. Uh, <gasps> He's, uh, he, he tried to... The music stops. The uh, silence uh, is palpable. Uh, and there is a screaming from somewhere outside where the gardener has found the crop body of Lord Nelson. Uh, uh, hurried servants all around. Uh, the ladies, you are ushered back to your room. A terrible, a terrible thing has happened. Um, My lady is going for the necklace and so so. <laughs> Yes. Um... Uh, a terrible thing has happened. Uh, you were all scandalized. Roll constitution. Mm-hmm. Oh my. Everybody, including oh. me. Three uh, out of four ooh. again. Not one. I, I, I continue to talk about the scandalous. In, in... <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just, I, I turn to Richard and I'm just like, I cannot believe this is happening. I still haven't heard from Rebecca. <laughs> or or Kitty Sparrow, <laughs> what is what is going on at this manor? Okay, one one success again. <laughs> Clementine, hold it on there. Uh, how did uh, Portia and Ruby do? I got one success. Okay, you're, Three you're successes. safe. Uh, being ushered back to your room. And Serafina, did you weather the storm? I did. I was using my grace and got one success. Excellent. It's very nimbly going back to the place. You are uh, brought back to your uh, to your rooms, and the retreat is brought to a screeching halt with the uh, horrible uh, fate that has befallen uh, Admiral Nelson. Um, nobody's quite sure what happened, um, and we mustn't talk of it ever. Of course, um, and uh, Lord Admiral is not dead, as such, um, but he is—he is rather wounded. Uh, carriages will be sent for you all in the morning, uh, and I'm afraid that this will bring uh, the uh, the events to a close. I'm so sorry to have uh, ended um, this this event so early, but uh, I, I do hope uh, that you will return someday to. Um, uh, uh, the world of uh, common sense and sensibility to try and survive once again as uh, Regency era ladies. Oh. <laughs> uh, thank what you so much. Gosh. <laughs> thank you so much for playing. Um, Alante, I'll give you uh, the chance now to maybe read out the message that was sent to you uh, when you put uh, on the necklace when you were getting ready for dinner. Yes. Okay, so... As you acquire your new necklace, you feel a cold, crackling energy emanating from the jewel. You start to hear whispers in a language you've never heard before, but somehow understand it perfectly. A shudder shudder runs down your spine as an alien consciousness floods your mind with a single desire. Kill Admiral Nelson. Behind you in the mirror, the maid smiles wickedly and in a sudden French accent says, Come, my lady. I can't do a French accent right now. (laughs) Come, my lady. We do not wish to keep the Lord Admiral waiting. Congratulations. You are now an agent of the French. The necklace you are wearing contains fragment of the Eldritch intelligence, which is fighting for your control of your body and mind. You cannot remove the necklace or share any of this, any of this information with other players. <laughs> you can no longer die with making constitution rules. Instead, your constitution's rules determine whether uh, the Eldritch Intelligence is control is in control when the Admiral arrives. You need three successful test rolls to regain control and remove the necklace. That's amazing. Also, I didn't, I didn't, I, I had more fun giving in. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah excellent. You could always choose oh, to fail. Did. That's true. Yes. Which is such a great twist. I yeah. <laughs> did not see it coming at all. <laughs> Uh, excellent. Oh, so great. <laughs> that was amazing. Uh, yeah, fantastic. Oh. Thank you all for uh, for joining us for the one year anniversary of Raw Cut Reads. This is what we love to do is to play uh, 
all kinds of uh, TTRPGs with our friends. Um, uh, so, yeah, thank you so much for joining us. Let's go around yeah. and say who we are, where you can find us, and if there's anything you want to promote, we'll start with Alonte. You are. Uh, oh, anything that's fine. Well, yes, <laughs> I, I am Alonte, the, the chesty French spy with the emerald necklace. Uh, you can find me everywhere at that bearcat, B E A R K A T. Uh, make sure you come back, what, next weekend? Yeah. the 12th where i will be jamming the fulson fair i will be the ringmaster for the event I'm very excited so if you, you want to introduce some chaos rig some games have some fun be a part of the in-game audience change the way the game is played i'll see you next week <laughs> excellent uh and james a clementine ball i should say yeah, so I'm uh, James, and I, you know, uh, I run games out of D&DG. It's uh, Dungeons and Do-Gooders. If, you know, uh, you want to play in a bunch of Dungeons and Dragons games, uh, that's a great place to do it. And um, I, you know, uh, I'm starting to kind of run games privately as well. Um, so if if you're on Discord, you can hit me up. Uh, it's uh, Infinite IMOC on Discord. Um, but yeah, I, I don't do a lot of social media, but I'm hoping to kind of expand that. I, I too will be at uh, the charity event uh, on Saturday. Super excited for that. I'll be for the uh, playing in the first show. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, look forward to it. Excellent. Uh, and Brianna, how can we find you? Uh, you can find me on all the socials at, at Nerdy B Love. Um that's my name uh and if you're like playing D D is fun but i also like to watch D D. join me on the dungeons and do-gooders twitch channel on tuesdays and wednesdays and watch me play two very different characters and try to remember who i am that day <laughs> <laughs> yeah your characters are very diverse i uh, applaud your skills <laughs> uh excellent and trisha uh, yeah, I will continue plugging this charity event that is happening next Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, we're raising money for Rainbow Refugee. We've already raised over $1,000. Our goal is 2000 I think we might get even more. Um, we have a silent auction full of D&D goodies um, that you can find if you look at workatreads.com slash charity event. And we are on all the social medias at Roarcat Reads. Excellent. Uh, so thank you again, all of you guys for playing. It was uh, super fun from my perspective. I hope you guys had fun too. Um, and blast. thank you for everybody mm -hmm. for uh, tuning in and watching. It's been a really fun evening. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Bye.